Alrighty guys, welcome back to the Combustion Guys YouTube channel and we are hunting cars online. Yes, we're not hunting diecasts, although uh, we could hunt diecasts online. That might be fun. Let us know. But yes, hunting cars online, so what is it? Well, pretty simple. We're going to pick a car, we're going to start off with a challenge, and what we're going to do is I have an idea of how I want my challenger to be built what I need what options I'd like and we're gonna go through and we're gonna build one and so what we're doing is figuring out okay what options do I need and what trim is the best for me so that is what we're going to look for <laughs> So here we go. Obviously, eh, it's nicer to just be able to buy it, not have to do the whole lease thing. Although that does work out pretty good, but yeah, buying if we can will be nice. So let's see, we got SXT, we got GT, we have an RT, RT scat pack, RT scat pack, wide body, beautifulness. We also got the Hellcat wide body, Hellcat red eye, Hellcat red eye wide body, and then of course we had the super stock, which I actually haven't looked at. They haven't, they didn't have that on the uh, website the last time. I was on, so this is going to be kind of fun. So, this might actually turn out to be a pretty long video, so we're going to see. <clears throat> so, here's what we're going to start off with. I actually want to see what these are, uh, GTs look like. So, we're actually going to get it with the all-wheel drive, and we're going to go in and build it, and see what it has to offer here. <clears throat> Alrighty, so we got uh, the Octane Red in the colors. We also have the Frostbite, which I am very much a fan of. It's nice. The Indigo Blue is pretty good. Uh, triple Nickel Exterior. I really like the Destroyer Gray. Apparently those have uh, bidden us farewell from an option, but that Destroyer Gray color was awesome. Oh, the Go Mango has made a return. Hello, Go Mango. That's nice to see. Uh, cinnamon Stick. It looks pretty good. Looks like one of the old Challenger colors. I like that. An F8 green, of course. Um, now for this car, it's not really a sports car. It's just going to be... Yeah, yeah. So here we go, guys. I'm going to build the cars different like what I want. So we're going to kind of go through. And uh, yeah, I'm going to tell you what this car is going to end up being for. And that's kind of... Yeah, it's going to... Yeah, we're going to... Yeah, we're figuring out the, the way we're doing this. But it's going to be kind of fun. So... What do the body stripes look like? No. <laughs> I'm sorry. That thin of a body stripe is stupid. I'm sorry, Dodge. I can't, I can't stand that. Let's see. Ooh, la la la. Hello. Yep, make it look a little bit... Yeah, leave that. Um, let's see here. Lugnut options. All season performance tires. Compact spare. We definitely want a compact spare. <clears throat> Oh, here, uh, rotate. There we go. So, we got that. Now we have the interior. So, not too many options uh, exterior wise, which is fine. Because it's just going to. Yeah, there we go. Because it's just going to be a regular, like around the town, nice car that I can drive daily almost, is kind of what this is going to end up being. So, we have the black interior, which this is the <clears throat> houndstooth cloth performance seat. I hate cloth. So, can we do something else here? Ooh, so see, yeah, you get the vintage seats here. So that's pretty. Ooh, whoa, 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 whoa! No, 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 no! Way too bright, way too bright. No. Yeah. Okay. So we're gonna go up because I'm looking for something that's not making a statement. And so this right here looks good, nice and tidy. Nothing too crazy here. And I guess they really want me to have this really huge screen. Let's see. This is standard. Can we opt into that? Let's see. Let's see. What are the additional changes? Okay, so never mind. So we have to keep that if we want to have the nice seats. Okay. So we'll keep that then. Uh, don't need Sirius XM. So we're good with that. Let's see. Alpine Audio Group with subwoofer. And then the Harmon group with uh, subwoofer as well. I've never heard of any of these brands, honestly, so I really don't know which one's good. 
but I think the standard speakers, because I can always add speakers later, so we'll just leave it as it is. Sunroof is a no-no. No sunroof, thank you. Uh, so let's see, we have the black noise all-wheel drive, badge, the black fuel filter, glass, da 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 Does this come with, like, the side? Let's see here. I'm going to add that. Wheels also changed, okay. Let's scroll, oh, okay. So can we not get it in the blue? Oh, we can get in the blue. Okay, so let me see here. Hmm, I don't see a whole lot of difference there, but it looks pretty good. <clears throat> oh, okay, yeah, yeah, I see this. Ah, oh, nice. Okay, so yeah, 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 that's good. Uh, technology group, you have adaptive speed control, automatic high beam headlight, forward collision warning, rain sensitive windshield wipers, NA with MTX or red eye. Cold weather group, we don't need heated seats. I'm gonna save money there. Actually, kinda, well, let's see. I'm gonna read this again. No, we don't actually need that. So we're gonna save money, keep that off of there. Um, let's see here. We already got the all-wheel drive, the eight-speed automatic with the the uh, I think this is the Pinstar, right? Yeah, Pinstar V6. And so there we go. Looks really good. And that's your price right there. So that's a, just a GT. So that's not an SXT, which would probably be a lot cheaper. But GT with the newest seats. So forty thousand. Not too bad. Not too bad. That looks pretty good. Okay. So now that we got that, we're gonna go back to the models. Let's continue to the models. Thank you. And what we're going to do is... Honestly, if I'm going to get a scat pack now... If I'm going to if I'm going to throw out the money for a scat pack... I'm going to go with the wide body. Because the odd body... The wide body just looks so, so good. So, GT, I mean, that's a good round-the-town car. I think that's really good. You get some good style. Get maybe a few looks. Because the car looks nice. But um, now we're going to go to the real looker. The... Scat back wide body here. So let's check this thing out, and it looks beautiful. Look at this thing. Mm. Love it. Okay, so let's see here. So we got some different colors here. We have the oh, the gold rush. It looks beautiful. Ooh. Oh, yes. Wow, these are good. Mm. It's so hard, these look so good. Man, I think we're gonna go if it was if it was a brighter yellow, I'd probably go with this. But I think I'm gonna end up end up just going with the orange option because that looks really really good. Now let me see here. So we have um, the scat pack. Now does this delete that? Okay, that deletes that. So we don't we want to. Okay, so somehow we gotta get that back then here. Let me see. Reselect that. There we go. Okay. So we finally got that back. Good. Okay. Let me see. Get the hood. Yes. Thank you very much. Definitely want the hood pins to make it look really, really good. Um, red brake calipers. We'll say 595 on that because I can always get them home, take them off, spray paint them red or uh, dip them red, and then voila, they are red. So makes sense to me. So let's see. Let's get to the rear end here. Can we get the SR? Ooh, SRT spoiler. I don't know. It's because that way you get like Challenger TA, but that also looks really good. Mmm, looks beautiful. Let's see. We have the all performance tires on there, all season performance tires. Yeah, we'll leave those on there. Uh, Hound's tooth cloth. Definitely do not want that. Um, now this is more of the sports car. This is the sports cars, so. We can go a little bit crazy. Oh yeah, on this. 
I'm not sure about the, because that's more of a tan, a tannish color in orange. Well, what are you doing? What are you doing to my cars? Get back there. Thank you. Stay there now. <clears throat> I hate when that when they want to switch all my stuff. Okay, there we go. So this is the leather seat. So oh, okay, TAA graphics. So it's specific. Okay, so you can't switch it. Gotcha. So can't really do much with that. Well, I don't know. This looks like you can. Well, apparently something with switching to the that there mess things up. So I'm gonna leave it as it is because I really didn't like that and the red with the orange and I yeah uh, just the, the the color the colors were not gonna speak to me on that one that was not gonna work out well alrighty so you could switch over to the shaker decal which would be cool but I really do want that nice TA look so we're gonna keep going with that uh, the carbon suede interior real carbon fiber interior accents suede headliner can we get that Okay, we got that. Did it switch anything up here? Ooh. Nice. That looks really good. I think you saw that switch, hopefully, on the screen. That looks really nice. Okay, very nice. Uh, technology group. Uh, for blah, 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 blah. Yep, that's the one that we don't need. Interior appearance group by Mopar. Thank you. Rear seat delete. Now we're gonna we're gonna leave the rear seat, and if I need to, if the seat, if I am that performance driven, and the seat has to come out, I can do that myself. Alrighty, let's see here. So this is currently on the manual, so I don't know how to drive a manual. So I could probably learn, but I'm probably not going to spend this much money on a car that I don't know how to drive and then mess up the manual transmission because I'm an idiot so therefore we're going with the automatic because I know how to drive that but the manual is a good idea too so if I can maybe I should not I think Todd kinda knows how to drive a manual but yeah I don't know how to drive a manual so there we go 60,400 right there in price that's really not that bad for that much car now it's only a two door so so here's the thing so I'm uh, right at this moment I'm just building a car I am building the car that I want not too crazy but really cool nice performance so that's that's what I'm building so now honestly I'm gonna go with four doors if I can so obviously charger he <laughs> he would be my option but uh, for if I really wanted a two door coupe from Mopar, I definitely probably go with this right here, just because performance, look, it looks great. Now let's go to crazy mode. Let's just go to plain mode, all the way crazy. Um, Hellcat Red Eye. Now hold on a second because I forgot what the. I know this has a lot of horsepower. I forget the exact amount of horsepower, but let me see. I'm gonna look at the super stock here because I don't remember what the options are on this thing other than a lot of beautiful paint options hello uh, let me see what is the engine what are the engine specs on this so we got the supercharged da -da -da, I want more info here that's great but what's the horsepower I love it when they don't tell you these things what's the horsepower Hey Dodge, uh, the whole point of your uh, the gas guzzler tax. I already pay enough in taxes. Get that off of there. I yeah, I don't remember what the horsepower is. If you guys remember what the horsepower on this is, let me know. Uh, basically, it's the same options as everything else. But what I am going to do is I want to look at some of these paint options here really quick, and then we're going to go spec out my Hellcat Red Eye. Thing looks beautiful. I know it's supposed to be like the the drag, the drag racing. Um, spec version but I don't remember the horsepower it seems like the horsepower is different um, but I don't remember how so there we go we got the black satin roof so that looks up oh, here 
yeah black satin roofs those things are nice uh, you also have the black brake calipers okay so this is ridiculous so I have to pay five hundred ninety five dollars to get a black caliper when I already have a red caliper that doesn't make any sense never mind uh, so let's look at some of these decals here ooh yep uh-huh see this is oh gunmetal yeah gunmetal then you get the oh yeah so this goes let's see this is take it all the way to the back oh yeah, yeah yeah so this one takes this black stripe all the way to the back really makes it look a bit demonish because I really like those old demons with just uh, with just the black hoods those are really good so let me see here mm-hmm yeah so see that looks that looks like an old demon it looks really good I think with, with the green though and just the black just that hood that looks really good alrighty guys so I, I don't remember what's so important about this I know it's um, drag racing um, oriented it's very drag racing oriented but I don't remember the horsepower on it so I'm gonna go back down here and we're gonna build that Hellcat wide body hello beautiful so let's see we already did a crazy color so I'm gonna go I want my green Hellcat here and we're gonna go with the satin black all the way to the back and get our hood pins uh, we already got so what does this look like with brass monkeys oh boy that looks crazy with brass monkeys let's see this is the black aluminum so that's black aluminum and then this is black lightweight black aluminum there's absolutely no difference. When it's cheaper, they're the ones a thousand dollars. So how about we go with the cheaper one? <laughs> That's how we work here. All right. So we have. Uh, ooh, I'll, I'll, I'm sure I can find some gunmetal paint somewhere. Anyways, let's see. Got the black satin roof. Yep. SRX spoiler. SRT spoiler looks beautiful. Check out the SRX. I think they got two more races. I don't remember. It's probably, by the time this goes up, it'll probably be over with. But if you haven't checked it out, you need to. It's awesome. So, And on this one, we're going with this beautiful interior. On the inside, let me see here. Package is also changed. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, we're going, we're going with the really, really nice looking interior here. Can we get the demonic red seatbelts? Oh yeah, undo. There we go. Yep, going back to that. Very good. Uh, appearance package. Six with those T Lego. Do do do. I think we're good. Carbon suede interior. Can we get that done? Yes. Awesome. Uh, we don't need a technology group. Uh, we don't need the rear seat delete. I like my. I like my seat. We got the automatic. Hallelujah. Uh, ooh, then this is a good one. Now. Um, let's see here. Let's see. Numerically lower axle results in lower engine OPM, better efficiency. Do -ba -do -ba -do. Huh. Well, since I'm not a super, since I wouldn't be going crazy with this car. I mean, I paid. I'm so right now. I'm at ninety thousand dollars. I will upgrade to that to save a little bit. On the fuel now, get the tax off of that. I really wish I could get rid of this. Yeah, stupid taxation. Alrighty, here we got ninety-one thousand five hundred fifty-five. That is expensive, but the car looks beautiful. Imagine how much you could save without the tax. Be nice. Alrighty, looks very good. I think I think Clinton put that in there. He did a lot of weird things. Anyways, but yeah. Um, that car looks really, really neat. Very good. So, alrighty, guys. I think that is it for this video. But um, let me see here. Yeah, I'll put it this way. So, website looks works really good. It's a little bit clunky when you're switching between stuff. Doesn't really. It's not really uh, good at telling you what's not available on different stuff. But uh, pretty good website. Always like this one. It does really good. Um, but yeah, if I'm gonna get if I'm gonna get a Challenger. 
I'm probably honestly I'm not gonna get a Hellcat because that's a lot of horsepower, a lot of money, and but to really get just into the Mopar world, so to speak, and to get a car that looks really nice, I'm probably gonna go with the RT Scat Pack wide body if I can. Um, just because it's cheaper, it doesn't have as much horsepower, so I know that I could probably control it. Because everyone seems to wreck their Hellcat at some point, so if I don't have to, I will get something with a little less horsepower, and I will restrain myself and be able to drive and enjoy it uh, without uh, wrecking it. Hopefully, so. And also, I'm gonna, I'm still gonna spend that much money, so I really hope I don't wreck it. That's still a lot of money right there. But yeah, uh, definitely, if I'm gonna get a Challenger, is gonna be the Scat Pack with the, um, with with the TA. Um, package just really looks good looks really nice and it does have all the options honestly that I want so that is what I'd honestly get so hopefully you've enjoyed this video guys I definitely enjoy looking at all these really cool cars and it has been fun so we'll see you here next time on hunting cars online bye